Hey all, it's Andrzej Krzywda from RKC speaking. Today I would like to share with you a cool thing which came from uh, JetBrains from RubyMine. They've just uh, announced that there will be a RubyMine uh, 0.3 edition and today we have release candidate available. And there are several interesting improvements but one that caught my eye immediately was uh, something that I think I even asked them. Extract methods to private and uh, protected regions. Uh, which sounds like a detail, but let me show you how it works right now. And then I will try to download the new version and show you um, how it's improved. So for example, let's let's look at this code. Uh, those three lines, they can be, you know, at this abstraction level, at the controller in Rails. Uh, this is like too much detail. We could extract it to something called um, register participant. And you see in this um, in this dialog, I don't really have an option to say, that this is a private method, but almost always I want the extracted method to be private. So this should go actually below. So usually I have to do uh, this part after a change, something like this. And so this requires more manual work. Instead of just, you know, extract method with a shortcut, I, I have to do something more. Um, let's try to install the, the new RubyMine. Uh, and we now have this available. The JetBrain toolbox is also really cool. Um, so instead of waiting, I will uh, I'll just skip this part for now. All right, and now I'm back uh, with the new version, or actually the release candidate version. Now when I select this region of code, this part of code, I like the default to be private. Now the, the whole dialog window changed. So let's say register participant again. And now I've had this private uh, section existing already, so it's put it at the top of that. And this is exactly what I would expect. So I'm, I'm really happy about this change. I think this will, uh, you know, every, every second matters in your, for example, TDD flow. So when you do the failing test, the green test, so the, the, the code which passes, then you have this refactor phase. And refactor phase is very often this kind of thing, like quickly extract a method or quickly move some part of code somewhere else. And the more automated it is, the more I'm confident about this change, the better. And when I don't have to do this manual work of, of changing the private keyword somewhere else, the faster I am. So that's a really nice improvement. And thank you to RubyMine. I know you're listening guys to what what the users are saying and uh, i'm i keep enjoying using rubymine and this is not a sponsored video thanks for watching